Today, we are organizing your accessories. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. If you missed it, I've been doing a whole series of organizing videos. I've done the closet purging process and how you know when it's time to let something go. I've done closet organization and sharing my system I use with clients for years to help you create a closet that is like your very own little boutique. We've tackled drawers and how to fold in your drawers and what to keep in the drawers and how to organize in the drawers. And today I wanna to talk about about accessories, specifically jewelry, handbags, and then those extraneous things like belts and scarves. The first thing before you can start any of this is to make sure you have the right resources for your closet. I will put links to all of those videos below in the description box. If you missed them, there's a whole playlist of them, so you can just click on the playlist and binge watch the organization videos. I also created two freebie checklists, so you don't have to remember exactly what I said about this or that or that. You can subscribe to my weekly newsletter and get that freebie checklist or get those freebie checklists sent to your email inbox. And that is a really handy tool and resource. You can print it out, take it in the closet with you. And I really hope and feel that it will be an invaluable resource for you. The first thing you wanna think about when it comes to organizing your accessories is making sure you have the right supplies and the resources that you need. You very well may have them already, but in some cases you might actually have to order some products and that's okay too. So what you do is you bookmark the video, you go and order what you need and then you come back to it later on when you're ready. I would suggest if you have the room to display your jewelry that maybe you consider displaying some of the pieces that you love and wear all the time. I used to do that in Texas. I would display my jewelry on uh, velvet stands just like if you were in a store and you were literally like shopping in a store. I wanted it to feel like I was shopping my closet. So I put all my jewelry on display which was really great because I really saw it. I could use it, wear it, but most of us don't have that kind of space in our closet, myself included now. So when I say that there's no one size fits all approach, that is very true. It depends on your space. It depends on a system that works best for you, something that you'll remember. Another option for your jewelry, and this is what I use, is an expandable in-drawer organizer. They also have beautiful velvety, felty, stackable trays that you can get in your drawer. The key here is making sure that if you're going to do a static tray, you measure your drawer first to make sure it's going to fit, right? So that's why I like the expandable one because I didn't have to measure anything except the height to know that that was gonna work pretty well for my drawer and I could adjust the sides of the tray to fit my drawer perfectly. For your handbags, if you have a lot of shelving space and you wanna display your bags, you can do standalone display. If you wanna line them up on a shelf, you can have shelf dividers between the bags. What I do is I have a few linen handbag bins that I got from the container store, and that's where I put most of my handbags. I keep a couple of everyday bags that I have in rotation in my main closet, but all of the other bags are in an ancillary closet in those beautiful linen handbag bins. I like that these bins are sort of diagonal, so you can really put the bigger, taller bags in the back and the shorter bags in the front, so you can see all of your bags. You may want to invest in a belt rack, a belt hanger, a scarf hanger, a scarf rack, whatever you feel like would work best for you. I just ordered a belt rack for me, but my husband Chris already has a belt rack. I think that's gonna be awesome. I'm really excited about it. And then with hats, you can either leave them on a shelf alone or you could put them in a bin. I do put my hats in a linen bin. The only issue with that is you can't put a ton of hats in the bin because you've only got so much clearance. So you may wanna go with like an open bin, but really just putting them on a shelf by themselves is fine, stacked up. Let's talk a bit more about organizing your Jewelry. If you are gonna do everything on display, I suggest you get those velvety stands and have that feeling of like, ooh, I get to shop my own closet. That's so exciting. Most of us don't have that kind of space, so then you're gonna to wanna to do some sort of in-drawer organizer. Could be my system, which is that expandable drawer tray, or you could get the static trays, you can get stackable static velvet trays, whatever you think would work best for the space that you have. 
The benefit of having your jewelry in a drawer is that it's not as exposed to the air and the dust and the elements. So it will kind of preserve your jewelry a bit more. With your delicate necklaces, you can keep them in a straw to try and keep them detangled. Frankly, I think that's too much of a pain, so I don't do it. What I do instead is I just separate them. I fasten the necklace and then I separate them and line them up side by side. So there's social distancing going on with my jewelry. <laughs> I don't want my necklaces like just piled into a compartment because then they will get all tangled. I really try to make them separated and keep them separated so they don't get all tangly. For my jewelry, I store all of it in my nightstand dresser. It's just a really convenient place for me to keep them because it is something that I can easily access their nice size drawers. They're kind of the perfect jewelry size. So in one drawer, I put bracelets and necklaces, and you'll see here that I do kind of keep them color coordinated. It's really nice, especially with earrings, because I feel like with necklaces and bracelets, you're always wearing like gold, silver, gold, silver, gold, silver. But with your earrings, I think you do have more color there. And so it is nice to have like these sections. You can see I have sections like my black earrings, my pink earrings, my red earrings, my white earrings, my gold earrings, my silver earrings. That works really well for me. So I know like if I want to really add a pop of color to my look, I can easily open up this drawer and then just grab the color that I'm looking for. It was really cathartic for me to go through my jewelry. And also I kind of made a decision in my head. I threw out a lot of jewelry that had tarnished. I'm not really sure I want to buy pieces anymore that aren't a better quality. I feel like I would rather just invest a bit more and then keep those pieces longer. So the pieces that I have spent a bit more on, like my Elizabeth Cole jewelry, those pieces are all still beautiful and perfect condition. That's kind of just where I am personally with the jewelry. I just am tired of throwing things out. I'm tired of feeling like I'm wasting things. And so I just want to keep it a bit more minimal and buy higher quality pieces. A couple of other things you can do with your jewelry. You could do hooks on the wall in your closet. You could also do a jewelry armoire. I don't have space for that personally, but if I did, that could be a really cool option. We touched on handbags a little bit, but I wanna circle back and kind of cover that a bit more thoroughly. If you have like beautiful shelves, like I've got back here, you can display your handbags, but then you still may wanna stuff them so that they keep their shape, especially if it's like a Celine bag like that one is. And you can just use like plastic kitchen bags and throw them into a Ziploc bag and use that as your stuffing. You can use tissue paper, the packaging that came with the handbag, old t-shirts, your singlet socks. Get creative and find something that you can use to stuff inside the bag so that the bag retains its shape. You may even want to, with your more expensive bags, put a dust cover over the bag. I don't like to do that because then I forget about them. It's just personal preference. For me, I'm so visual. I have to see it or it just doesn't exist anymore. So that's why I don't do dust covers, but that may work better for you because maybe you don't need to see it to know it's there. And I mentioned that for my handbags, I only keep a couple of key handbags in my main closet. And then the rest of my handbags are actually in a different closet in the hallway. And I put all of my bags in these beautiful linen bins and the bins are diagonal. So you put your taller bags in the back and the shorter bags in the front and that really helps you see what you have. But you can also tell that I color code my bags as well. I've got a white section, a black section, color section. Always be thinking about a system specifically color coordinated system that works best for you. Now I wanna move on to scarves, belts, and hats. For scarves, you have a few options. You can have a rack where you hang your scarves up on hooks. You can fold them neatly and put them into a bin, or you could buy a scarf hanger and hang up all your scarves. If you have a lot of hanging space, that could be a good option. Personally, I am folding mine up and putting them into a drawer. But again, here it, it's up to you, whatever works best for your space. With belts, I currently roll my belts and put them into a drawer, making sure that I'm rolling so that the buckle is on the inside because you don't want your buckle to get all scuffed up, especially if it's a higher end belt. I did just order a belt rack to hang on the wall because I really want to be able to grab and go with the belts 
My husband Chris already has a rack and I see how lovely that is and I wanna be able to recreate that concept. So I did order a rack and I will put a link to that rack that I ordered below. With your hats, there are hat boxes so you could store your hats in a beautiful hat box that could be kind of like a decor piece in your closet. I just put mine in a bin that I had for sweaters and tees. The problem with this is there isn't a lot of clearance so I could really only fit like five hats. If you have a lot of hats and you just wanna stack them, you could just stack them on top of each other and leave them out on a shelf on display. Totally up to you. I feel like they never fit quite seamlessly together so it looks a bit sloppy. That's why I wanted to put them in a bin, but you can totally leave them out too, or grab one of those decorative hat boxes that I talked about. I think CalPAC has one. I'll find you a pretty hat box too, so if that's something you're interested in, we'll have a link to one of those below. You guys, if you have more questions that I haven't addressed, make sure you take advantage of our free Facebook group. It's called The Hive. It's free to sign up and you can get answers to your questions with organization, style, outfits of the day, whatever you have questions about. And we'll put a link to that below. And also, if you haven't subscribed already I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you know when I upload a new video I am going to be tackling more organization as well as some loungewear coming up I know we're all going through a tough time right now and it's really scary but you know if we can make the best out of a bad situation I think that's ideal and one of the ways we can do that is by using this time maximizing this time to really dig into those projects we have been wanting to do for a long time but just haven't found the time to do it so organization you know getting the closet whipped into shape getting your drawers organized making sure all those accessories look sparkly and nice is really key it really does make you feel so much better it's so satisfying <laughs> it really is the before and the after like look at my before and after of my jewelry it's just like so lovely and wonderful and you just feel a sense of accomplishment and it's just a great way to take your mind off of things while also doing something that's going to make your life better and easier thank you guys so much for watching i will see you next time bye bye